So a lot of things are great in trilogies. Star Wars, for example, Indiana Jones. You push it any further, it kind of go goes down on the suck meter. But the Alienware M17 Revision 4 is one of those things that you can actually do in a lot of iterations and it'll get better every time. So this is the fourth iteration of the M17. And while it pretty much looks the same on the outside, same chassis that we've come to grow and love, uh, there's it's what under the hood that really makes this stand out and really makes this a winner. But is it worth the $25.99 price tag? So, a few things that we love about this notebook. As you can see, we've got a beautiful 17.3 inch 1920 by 1080p display. It's like looking into the pool where Narcissus fell in love with himself. You just can't look away. It's just gorgeous and awesome. Um, simple caveat is it's really glossy, so glossy, in fact, that it can become a bit of a distraction. Like if I were to turn this off, I could probably use it as a mirror, put some makeup on, do a couple of things with it. So that is a little bit of a distraction, but it, you just keep it in a low light setting, you're good to go. Uh, as always, uh, you have the customizable color keyboard, the ring around the touchpad, the Alienware, anything that you, anywhere you see a light, you can actually change the color. Like I had this set up at a point where it was pulsing red and orange and all of this to go with my game and it was pulsing to the beat. It was kind of cool. Uh, another great thing about this, the performance in the graphics. I can't say enough. So basically we've got a Core i7 Ivy Bridge processor in here, and we also have NVIDIA's latest GeForce GTX 680M GPU in here, which means this thing is uber fast, uber powerful. You can play any game on here. Video editing, video editing any heavy duty activities that you wanna get done on this computer, it can handle it, no problem. Uh, the other great thing about this, being that it's a desktop replacement slash gaming notebook, usually they have to stay tethered to their plug because they can only get maybe two or three hours off the court. This bad boy gave us over five hours of battery life running the laptop battery test, which is basically web surfing over uh, Wi-Fi. So that's awesome. Now, a few things that we don't like, and they're, they're very minimal things. The price tag, almost $2,600. Like, it, it, it's, it's worth the price of admission, but a lot of us aren't going to be able to afford that on our meager salaries. The other thing, um, usually gaming notebooks run pretty hot. The Alienware pretty much keeps us cool. Like, at the most, we got 90 degrees, which is well below our 95 degree uh, measure of uncomfortableness, except for this right here. This small metal plate, after we spent uh, 15 minutes of playing Max Payne 3, it actually got up to 103 degrees, which isn't too bad if you plan to keep it on a desk where it should be, because I can't imagine you having this huge behemoth in your lap. But if you put it in your lap, that could be somewhat of a problem. So what do we have here? We have a spectacular gaming notebook that can play any game that you can throw at it, Far Cry, Batman, Max Payne, whatever you want to do, video editing, this is the machine for that. But on the other hand, a lot of us aren't going to have that $2,600 to fork out for this bad boy. It's it's one of those fantasy machines. You like the ooh and ah, but if you'll ever actually own it yourself, probably not. But still, this is a great notebook for gaming and all that heavy duty editing that you might want to do. I definitely recommend it if you have to um, change for it.